Whether I'm traveling to another country on vacation or just spending a fun day in the city, I want to capture that experience in photos so I can have those memories when I come home. Now I know a lot of people have their cell phone or iPad and that's what they use to take their photos, but I want high quality photos to use so that I can make a photo album when I get home. So I need a high quality camera. The Fuji X-A3 is light, compact, and it's a point and shoot. The retro look with the faux leather is very cool. The dials are easy to see and use, but most of all, it has a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, so I'm going to get those high quality photos I want. Great! I can use this camera just like my iPhone or iPad. Touch to shoot. Quick and easy. And then autofocus, pinch to zoom in and out, and shoot. I do have to turn it off when I'm walking down the street so I don't get any unintentional photos. The auto point and shoot features on the camera allow me, the less advanced photographer of the family, to take great pictures. If I set it to portrait, it adjusts perfectly and I can even use portrait enhancement to check on skin color. I can take a beautiful landscape photo, perhaps of a vineyard, and then sport. I like to take pictures of Martin on his bicycle. And finally, night mode for those shots where it's just too dark, like last night at the winery. If I want more features, I go to SP, Menu, and then I can choose Party, Flower, Text, that was great for the menu at dinner last night, Portrait, Night, Fireworks, wait till I see some of those, Sunset, Snow, Winter's Coming, and Beach. So lots of features to get great photos. The other thing is, I could actually check on screen later when I review the photos and see what settings they have for aperture, shutter speed, all those things that I think I'd like to learn. If you want to have some creative fun with your camera, you can use one of the 10 advanced filters. Turn the function dial to advanced. We get some great options. Pop color, one of my favorites, miniature, toy camera, and of course, fisheye. Also in this feature, we can see panorama. Now, I remember years ago, my friend Peter, he made fabulous panoramas, but it took him hours to stitch all his photos together. Today, with the X-A3, it's really fast for me. Panorama, and... The X-A3 also has auto macro function. You set the dial to SR Advanced, and the camera automatically sets to macro. You get clear focus on anything as close as seven centimeters away. Like the flowers I picked for my garden this summer and would like to enjoy dried all winter long. You can, of course, shoot video with the X-A3 and it doesn't matter what mode the camera is in. One step easy, red button to start, red button to stop. The camera has digital image stabilization. In menu five, make sure it's set to on for great video. One of my favorite features is the selfie feature. The screen comes out and up 180 degrees, which means I can use it for vlogging. You don't get those goofy pictures like you sometimes get because you have to hold the camera and reach. This way it's nice and easy to see me. I can shoot a picture or I can vlog about my holiday. There I am. Now, you can also use the auto timer. The timer allows you to have a two to 10 second delay, or it will detect a smile and not take the photo till then. It even will set to two, three, or four people in the photo, which means no one's gonna miss out. I've talked about all the features I really like about the X-A3, but I should mention, it doesn't have a viewfinder and it doesn't shoot 4K video, if that's important to you. You know, I used to feel intimidated by sophisticated cameras, all the dials and features, 
but the X-A3 combines high quality with simple to use settings. I feel more in control and it's helping me improve my understanding of cameras and photography.